guys, it's Amy. Today I have a tag video for you guys. It's called uh, Bags I Did Not Buy First Bad Impression and I was tagged by the beautiful, gorgeous Shay Whitney. She created the tag and I thought it was an excellent tag video because it's very true that a lot of times you end up, um, I guess, obsessing about certain bags and you love them, you think that you must get it in your life but by the time that you go and get it uh, checked out in person it may not have um, be what you expected it to be so I just want to preface by saying that these are not bad bags by any means uh, for anybody else who has them, it's just not for me at the moment for LV, it is the Eva clutch and the favorite clutch uh, and I will just add the brochette accessoires at the same time. Uh, it's not because those are not great bags. Obviously, lots of people have them and they are pretty good clutches. <clears throat> it's just that for me, every time I went in to LV to try them out, every time I ended up not buying them and yeah, they just... I don't know, for the Eva, I think that the strap was too long. I love the shape though, the triangle shape is really beautiful. Uh, but the strap is too long so I didn't end up buying it. And I know I can buy other straps and all that, but uh, yeah, I'm just not so into modifying the original design of bags. And um, with the favorite, there's always been something about the magnet that kind of annoyed me. Um, and also the strap. One end has the class, one the other doesn't. And then the pochette accessoire was just like always kind of like a backup plan in my head. I thought if neither one of those more expensive clutches work, maybe the pochette accessoire would. But I don't know, it was just a little simple. Um, I didn't have the need for something uber simple like this uh, because I really wanted a clutch where I can wear for evening, wear for weddings and stuff like that. And none of those really wowed me in a sense. So those are the bags that I did not buy from LV. I also wanted to mention that for LV, um, I actually bought a lot of bags that are in Demi Ben canvas. Uh, so the one with the chocolate leather. And I just wanted to mention something on this video that I've realized that bags with uh, the Demi Ben strap or the chocolate brown strap just really doesn't work for me. So I know going forward that no matter which beautiful bag they come up with, if it's with a shoulder strap with this material, I will not buy because it will not work. And it took me three times to realize, I guess I realized that but I, I never really fully understood that it was because of the strap. Not the material itself, not the print itself, it's beautiful uh, because it's weatherproof and all that. Um, but it's the strap itself, if it's made with the Damier Ben canvas, uh, sorry, uh, leather, then the way it's cut and made is just really really stiff and really um like really sharp so i know that those will not work for me so just as an fyi with chanel i have a couple bags that uh, i thought i was crazy about as well a lot of people love them and it i don't i don't know when i when i finally went to try them on it just yeah it was kind of underwhelming for me again so the first one is a very popular one it's the wallet on chain uh didn't matter which print or material or uh um season it was uh it was just really small for me and i know it's all relative some people think that it's a larger size wallet on chain for me it's still really small and you know that's end of story when it's not gonna fit my phone and my keys and another thing in it that's just a deal breaker for me uh plus the fact that um the chain is so long it just wouldn't ever work for me so that was a given pretty straightforward easy i tried it on once i knew it wasn't for me the second bag which was more of a surprise is the coco chanel uh handle uh bag and uh, I know it comes in several sizes. I'm pretty sure I tried it in the small size. Uh, and um, I don't know. I, I have to say that I love the single handle. Um, and I have 
a trapeze from Celine uh, and that one is also a single handle bag and I love bags that have single handles uh, but the difference with the Coco Chanel one is that it is stationary it doesn't move as in it's stationary onto the front flap or the top flap and so every time you open and close the bag the uh, the handle itself will also move along and it will just end up um, hitting you I mean it's not gonna hurt or anything but it's just a nuisance and that bothered me right away because um, yeah I wasn't a fan of that you guys know my wish list if you haven't seen it I will also link it down below but basically um, there's a lot of bags that I really love from Dior but there is one in particular that when I ended up checking it out which is the Lady Dior I thought that I wanted the mini size or the small size I actually don't even remember I think it's the smallest size that they have something for evening wear my essay took out two for me to try one is the limited edition the summer spring summer collection the one with a lot of studs and the other one is just their classic lambskin with uh, champagne gold hardware um, the studded one is really cute uh, it's very edgy because the strap is quite thick as well but it's a little bit too much um, not for the purpose that I wanted. I think it's beautiful. I would have bought it if I had another use for it, but for me, I wanted something that's for evening, um, not just for daily wear. So that was out of the question. And plus the price was quite a bit more. Now with the classic one, which I thought I would really have wanted to get, um, I don't know, the leather just underwhelmed me. I know that, uh, or I've heard at least that Dior has really beautiful, uh, more um, durable lambskin than any other house and I'm not saying that it is not but the one that she brought to me was quite dull um, I wasn't a fan of it for some reason I mean I think the shape and all that is still really cute when I tried it on unfortunately I don't have a clip or anything to show you but uh, yeah I just wasn't wow by the bag and for that price I think it was hmm it was more expensive than a Chanel Mini and I, I know I'm comparing oranges and apples but uh, it's to me it's it's really pricey and for a bag that I wasn't super wowed or a hundred percent wowed then um, yeah I knew it wasn't for me maybe in the future maybe if maybe a different batch had a different leather or maybe just in a totally different material altogether maybe I will like it more but so far uh, the Lady Dior, the smallest size in the classic black lambskin leather. I wasn't a fan. Gucci is another house that is so like on fire at the moment. They're coming out with so many beautiful bags and their designs and whenever you look at them on other people's Instagram or photos, it's just so vibrant and so eye-catching. Um, when they came out with the Dionysus and even the Marmont, uh, line I thought it was super attractive I thought I wanted a bag from those lines I mean I still think that way because I think every time I look at social media I am still really attracted to those bags and um, so to with the Dionysus I really 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 liked the medium sized look on other people and so when I checked it out in person it overwhelmed me that one was more overwhelming in a sense that uh, the bag was so bulky and um, I don't know something about the chain length is very uh, it's kind of like in between the if you wear it on the shoulder it's kind of it's okay but it's so bulky and then when I wear it on the shorter setting it's even bulkier I, I don't know it's just kind of like you know it looks perfect on other people but once I wear it it's not and uh, yeah the the actual size of the bag is really big when I saw it in person I was so shocked that it was so bulky on me and I was already wearing thinner layers so yeah I don't know maybe I have to go back and try it another time or maybe in a, in a different print because I only tried it in in the um, classic um, Supreme GG canvas uh, with the the black suede or whatever suede color they had at the time I think it was the black one that I tried 
So yeah, that was kind of disappointing because I had such big expectation for that bag. And side note, um, not to say that it will happen to any of you, but when I was there, there was another girl who brought in her medium-sized Dionysus bag, or it could have been the large size, I, I don't really know because I wasn't right in front of her. I was like kind of far away, but I could still see that her bag was completely falling apart. It literally split in two, and I have no idea how that can even happen. I was shocked when I saw it from, even from afar, I was like, wow, that's pretty dramatic and I don't know, like, I, it appears like the SA took it back and said that uh, they will send it to Toronto to have it examined or whatever, I'm not sure what went wrong there with her bag, like, whether it ran over by a car or whatever, but I don't know how a bag can possibly, a luxury bag like this can possibly be split in two. So that's kind of weird. And of course, I will never have, uh, I will never be able to follow up on that story. And I did really want to go and ask them what's going on. But um, yeah, that was kind of strange. Now, moving on to the Marmont bag uh, or Marmont, however people call it. Um, yeah, that is also really gorgeous on other people but uh i don't know i i went to when i was in vegas i tried the suede one and i just wanted the mini one because i'm always on on the hunt for a good nicer evening bag um and hence the fact that i looked at the eva and all these kinds of smaller bags um and i don't know it was just not my style i guess it was just I think the bag itself, like the, the velvet and the interior lining and all that is pretty nice. Um, but there's something about the combination of the thicker chain and the smaller velvet bag. It didn't work out for me for some reason. I, I felt like maybe if it was on a more delicate chain, um, that it would be better. I don't know. I mean, it, it, it looks great on other people, but when I tried it on, I, I just didn't feel like it was my style for some reason. And so I was like, okay, maybe it's just the velvet. So I went ahead and tried it in the leather version. And I quite like it more, I have to say, in the leather, full leather, smooth leather version. But then again, it was just not... It didn't wow me 100%. Like, I, I thought it was nice, but it just wasn't quite to the point where I felt like I needed it and that I wanted to buy it on the spot. So I don't know, it's still sort of something that I admire from afar on other people uh, and that I may continue to go back once in a while to try them on uh, to see if I like it more. But at this point, those two lines, which I was so obsessed about and I'm sure a lot of people have, um, I haven't added any of those yet in my collection. Celine, um, so you guys know I have only one bag from Celine and it is the small Celine trapeze. I have it in the black pebbled leather with the suede wings. Uh, I absolutely love that bag. Like I said, I, I love the single handle. I love how the whole bag in itself, the style is so me. It's edgy but classic at the same time. I just, I just love that bag so much. Uh, every time I wear that one, I get the most compliments. Um, but um, there was a couple other bags that I considered prior to buying that one that underwhelmed me a little bit. So the first one is the um, Trio. You guys know that I have the LV, the Louis Vuitton twice bag and I love it. I have to say, I think it's my, it's actually my favorite LV bag. Every time I tried it, it kind of underwhelmed me. I mean, the leather, it's lambskin and all, and it's very simple, understated. I appreciate all that, but for some reason, it's always scratched up when I went to see it. Um, the shape when I wear it, it wasn't quite as wow when compared to the, the twice when I eventually went to try on the twice and bought it. Um, it was just such a big difference. And I compared the two because to me, those two were like the same type of bags. With the trio, I was a bit underwhelmed. Like I know there's a detachable pouch, but it's just not enough in terms of features to, you know, get me to buy the bag. And also the lining was just a regular 
lining it wasn't this luxurious um, microfiber that LV has on their twice and trust me I really wanted to buy the trio of more uh, when I was considering that shape of bag and finally when one day I decided to just try on the LV one I think there was a big price difference too because I was looking for the full leather one um, I just fell in love with the LV one the next Celine bag that I had such high hopes for was the belt bag so it's very similar in shape with the trapeze and I really wanted the belt bag at first because I thought the clean lines the belt that kind of like comes um, in front it kind of like drapes really nicely and the shape is really so similar to the trapeze uh, I, I was so in love and I love it on pictures I love it on people's reviews and stuff like that but when I went to try it on I was not super underwhelmed by the shape or anything I think it still looks great but when I uh, was trying to handle it a bit like you know put it on my shoulder open and close it because that's something that I like to do as well just to make sure that I'm not gonna get annoyed at um, reaching in or closing or opening the bag yeah, that, that part really annoyed me because the closure is the most annoying closure in the world. So, hence I bought the Celine trapeze because even though that wasn't my first choice, once I started trying it out, I don't know, even though it has, you know, that, you know, how you have to open it and then you have to turn it and then you have to open the flap and then you might have to get into the zipper if you close the zipper. I don't know it was so easy it was just like something that I got used to with even one hand within five minutes with Prada there's a lot of the uh, totes I, I don't know their names at all I just always notice people wearing their beautiful Safiano totes in the past so uh, not in the recent years I'm totally over totes that are very structured and heavy full leather ones uh, I have two totes or three totes now and I'm super happy with um, but I mean I meant the more business like totes uh, the quite structured ones uh, so I know first of all that the shape wouldn't work for me and it wouldn't work for my lifestyle and second of all with the Prada one they're just quite heavy in my opinion and every time I went to try them on I think they're pretty but they're just not for me and last but not least there is Givenchy with them um, yeah, the, I, I never really kind of thought about their bags at all before but you guys know my struggle with the LV Speedy B25 that I had, the Damier Ben that I sold recently. Um, so in my whole sort of thought process and in the whole process of selling that bag, I was also already thinking about replacing it with a style similar to it. There's something about the boxiness and the size. Um, both sizes I thought I would really like, but I think the mini is just too small and the small is just too big. When I briefly looked at it, because it didn't take me that long to realize that I didn't like it, um, yeah, there was just something that I couldn't speak about that that I think would bother me right off the bat. So. I don't know if it's the shape of that kind of bag that bothers me. Again, I don't think so because with the Speedy, like I mentioned in my past video, if the strap was comfortable, that it, that the the more constrictive opening and the black hole wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me as much. Just because I have carried the bag. I mean, I have traveled with the bag and. I know how much it can accommodate and all that and it's great it looks so good on and it's so my style yeah I really just think that it's a matter of finding the right combination and uh, yeah I'm so excited to see if maybe the CDB will come back into the picture but maybe not in the same material so I think that's my whole list uh, that's a lot of bags uh, to be very honest and I'm not saying that I will never buy those bags because you never know your tastes change and your needs change but for the time being I know that they are not going to be added into my collection let me know what you guys think of the bags that I mentioned uh, whether you agree or disagree it doesn't matter I think it's just a good very healthy discussion to have uh, like I said everyone's different everyone has their own preference and needs so please don't get offended like I 
don't I don't get offended if anybody think that my choices are not for them either so that's completely fine okay before we go I think I'm gonna tag a few people I know Shay already tagged a lot of you so I'm gonna see I don't remember who she tagged but I'm, I think she hasn't tagged uh, my good friend here on YouTube, Cat L, another Catherine. Catherine is a cat. Actually, her YouTube name is Cat Lux Love. Amy Jo, Sam uh, Snape HPB, have Louisville Travel, and did I miss anybody? I don't know if Mel has been tagged. Mel Soldera and a Mel in Melbourne. I I love. I love Mel Soldera's taste on everything, so I want to hear hers. Uh, and Mel in Melbourne, I just I don't I don't know if you've been tagged, but if you haven't, I would love to hear your thoughts too. I want to tag BT Channel Tiffany as well. She's been making more videos, so would love to hear your thoughts as well. So yeah, I think that's enough people, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching this video and welcome. I hope you will stick around by subscribing and by clicking that notification bell. I know that it's not necessary that you do that, but um, apparently some people have been either unsubscribed or they just don't get notified or they just don't even know that new videos are coming up from just people in general who uh, upload videos. So it would be great if you click on that to just be sure that you know when we post new videos. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope that you guys have a great week and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.